The business dates back to 1847, which is 166 years. My family acquired it in 1912, uh, which is a little over 100 years. And so we, we've been using the, the last year to celebrate the occasion of 100 years of my family's ownership. One of the things we want to do in Tennessee is we want this to be a state where people make things where they make uh, the, like all the fine products that these folks are making here, all the things that are built. We want Tennessee to be the center for where that happens. If it's gonna be a great place to produce products, it needs to be a great place for people who actually do the work as well. And I honestly think we came up with a bill that will do both of those things. I had people coming to me every time I went out on the road and I met, and I met with businesses and they all, I said, what can we do to make this a place where you will grow more jobs? And the most common answer by far, by far, was you need to do something to address workers' comp rates. In the end, any big piece of legislation has a lot of folks that work on this. And our, uh, there's folks out here from the, uh, the business community, there's folks from the administration, and there's folks from the legislature, all of whom said, how do we design something that really, really works uh, so that Tennessee can be the best location in the Southeast for high quality jobs. We're not stopping here. Um, we work every day to try to bring more jobs for Tennessee, and I can promise you that you will continue to see that happen. I want to thank the governor for having the vision and the foresight for wanting to do what he said he would do while campaigning for governor, and that is to make Tennessee the best state in the nation to own and operate a business. It's actually a fairly long bill in case you... <laughs> <laughs> and this is the kind of business that, that our reforms will help um, not only stay in business, but bring new business to Tennessee, and so it feels great. Tennessee's a great place to be.